Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Dennis. So today we're going to do a install of a Ryzen 9 3900X. Can't get my hands on the 5000 series yet, so that'll be coming down the road. But this is one I still haven't reviewed, haven't put in, haven't tested. We're going to do all that, but first we're just going to show the installation, putting it in. But instead of using the normal stock cooler, we're going to use a RGB Black Edition Hyper 212 CPU cooler that I've used in the past. So I'm not going to show the whole installation of that. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. I'm not going to explain it, but if you want to know, there'll be a link. There'll be the uh, at the end of the video, so you can click on that if you want to watch how that's all done. All right. So I'm just going to quickly go ahead and do it, and that'll be it. Then we'll have the temps, of course, and whatever else we can come up with. There we go. Okay, so there's no real unboxing, but I did want to at least show you the processor. So that's it there. I will also show you the uh, CPU cooler that normally comes with it, just so you know what to expect when you get yours. So the cooler you usually get is the Wraith Prism. Okay, it comes out of the box. It's got a little plastic to protect the fan and everything like that. Now, this lights up. The ring around it lights up and your fan lights up, just so you know. Okay, I want to show you just this here real quick. Your cables and everything are on the bottom. You've got a USB cable and an RGB cable. And it does come pre-applied with thermal paste if you were going to use this one. And this lever, this is the important thing. Right? So you need to make sure that these handles reach down over the little uh, brackets that are on your motherboard normally. And make sure you fasten this down. And you can watch one of my other videos. I'll put a link at the end of the video um, if you want to see a previous one to show how all this installation would go if you were using this one but like I say we're not using it so I, just, I did want to just quickly show you what to expect if you happen to want to use it okay so you get all your cables and of course it even comes with a four pin uh, PWM for the fan all right so let's move on to the one we are going to use so some things that I will point out though just to because if you're going to buy this, it's uh, good to know. So the Ryzen 9 3900X is a 12-core, 24-thread processor. And it does require discrete graphics card. So there's no built-in integrated uh, GPU or anything like that. So just something to be aware of. So we're going to get our CPU out of the way for now. And our CPU cooler we're using now is the Hyper 212 RGB Black Edition with an RGB fan. Okay, we're going to do the installation and start with that. So like I say, I'm not going to do an unboxing or anything like that this time uh, because I've already got a video on this, so I don't want to waste your time. We're going to get right to the installation of the CPU and then we're going to do the uh, install of the CPU cooler. Okay, so installing your CPU is pretty basic. You have the little arm here. You've got a little latch. So basically, you're going to push on this latch, push it out, lift it all the way up, and you're going to insert your CPU. I'll show you how to do that in a second. First, you have to be able to line it up. This has a triangle here, and it also has a triangle here. Some of them have a little red dot, or sorry, a little white dot that'll sit right here, and then you'll know what direction you have to line it up. So let's show you the CPU so you can know what I'm talking about. So when you're taking it out, always take it by the sides. Be very careful. Okay, so there's the pins. All right, and we're going to show you the um, little triangle. It's very difficult to see. Let's focus in here. See that little dot? That's it. That's all you're going to see. Okay, see that little triangle? That's pretty much all you're going to see. Line that triangle up with the triangle on here. All right, and you just move it ever so slightly, and it will just pop on down. Make sure you got your arm all the way up. There we go. And that's it. And when you're done, pull this arm down. Make sure it goes underneath that little tab. Okay, so just simple like that. Oops. Underneath. And that's it. CPUs installed. Simple, right? Okay, so in order to put our uh, Hyper 212 uh, cool CPU cooler on, these brackets have to come off. So there's two screws here. And two here. So just take those off. There's a back plate on the back. It will come 
dropping down if you've got it from any height. I've got it sitting on the motherboard box, so it shouldn't do that. And then you will have to remove that as well. And then our back plate here, which is the only thing you really need. I think I'm just going to focus on there. So fit this in the, the position it needs for a medium pour. Put these little pieces on. You have a little metal piece that just fits in here and that locks it in place. Okay, so this, okay, these screws here are going to be on the back, pushing up. Then you're going to have these, okay, these here are going to go on. Okay, you'll tighten them down. And once that's done, then all you're going to do, your CPU cooler, which we've already put the brackets on, it's the straight ones, it has that little notch. Put the screw from the bottom in here, and then it's going to line up, and then you're going to just tighten them on. Don't forget, you're going to need thermal paste on this one. And don't forget to take this off before you put it down. And then, of course, you will attach our fan, and that will be the end of it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take these brackets off, and then we'll be good to go. Okay, take that off. Do the same thing on the other side. Now you can see your butt back plate, okay? Now when I lift this up, that's going to come out. Okay, so that was all. That is what was on the other side. We don't need that for this. So I do suggest keeping it. Because you never know if you do a different install, you may need that. Or if you want to put your Wraith, your Wraith Prism cooler back on, then you got to put your back plate back on. And then you got to put your brackets back on. I'm stumbling all over my words. Sorry about that. And then now, it's basically, take our back plate, make sure we've lined up with the holes. Okay, so make sure you line this up. Most of them are going to go to the left. For some reason, one of them did not. But it doesn't really matter as long as you can get them in the holes from the back. So I'm going to show you that. Get this up. So I'm just going to lift this up. See where the holes are. Line them up, and they should go in. If they don't, if they don't go in the holes, you'll have to make some adjustments. Okay, so once they're in, you're just going to have to put it back down. Now in this case, because it's on a motherboard, I just have to slide it a little bit and it'll be just hey there okay there we go and you can see this is where we're going to fasten on to all right and that's where these are going to go on each one of those so i'm just going to go ahead and do that okay once you've got a couple on it'll uh hold everything in place just so you know okay so we've got two in and we're just going to do the last couple And the last one. Now we do include this here. So you can put it over top. Take your screwdriver and just snug it up a little bit. Just to make sure it's in there good and firm. Okay, it will turn a little bit. But you want to over tighten it. But just enough to make sure nothing's coming off. And then you're done. The next step, we're going to put that on there. First we're going to apply our thermal paste. Set those in. Tighten these down, and then put our fan on, and we'll pretty much be done. So they do include the thermal paste, so we're just going to put some on here. Oh, that come on a lot faster than I planned it to, so. Okay, just move that back a little bit, otherwise it won't spread even. Just a little bit more. All right, that's, hopefully that should be good. So I did put on just a little bit more. So now we're going to put our cooler on. Okay, lined up. So something I do want to mention, and I've noticed it more than once, is some of them will fit right in the uh, holes perfectly. Some of them will have a little bit of a gap. So something to keep in mind is you, you do want to put maybe just a little pressure just to make sure you get those started on the ones that have the gap. Get that started first to fasten it down and just kind of go diagonally um, to get an even spread of the thermal paste. Okay, so let's fasten them down. You have to be careful. Make sure you get that started. Go diagonal, get the other one started. And do that again on the other corners.
and then just keep doing that to tighten them all down when it's fastened down it'll just stop there will be no guesswork of whether it's in there right or not okay once it's in there it should be good and solid I can probably lift that right up if I wanted to okay and now you can look in the bottom again see our back plate is on GPU cooler and CPU are in put our fan on okay so now this is normally the back so you want to have your fan going where your CPU is going. So CPU is probably around here. Let me just check. Okay, our CPU fan is right here. Fan header. And our RGB is right there. So put our fan on here. Pull the air from here. Push it out the back um, for our rear exhaust. We could have a push-pull configuration if we wished. Um, but we're probably not going to do that right now. And uh, so we're going to put our fan on. And it just goes in these grooves okay it's pretty simple I end up with the grooves I'm gonna get on this side so I can see I can see okay so it pops into that groove right there hey okay, right here and oops that was, that was nasty and this is gonna do the same thing okay and it goes into these grooves pretty easy so almost surprises you sometimes when it goes in okay so CPU fan it's RGB so line up that arrow because that's your 12 volt so you have to make sure you plug it in the right way on here and our 12 volt is on this side on this board so our arrow has to go the other way like so I do it the other way which is the way it has to go didn't want to do that. There we go. All right, it's weird, but it happens. So we'll get this out of the way. We'll have to tie this off later on. This one here is your four pin. Make sure you line this little tab here with the tab that's on here. Line it up. Push it down, and we're done. So maybe I'll get some power to this, and uh, we'll have a look at the. The colors and stuff let's see what we can do okay we have power going to our motherboard and this is the first time i've actually lit it up so you can see this is cycling the colors this is and i don't know if you can see this over here but we'll turn it around so you can see that after but more importantly let's start it up and let's have a look at the fan you can see that lit up i'm going to change the angle so you can see that better so the system is powered up, fans running, okay, you can see it's all changing colors. And right now it's not on like a software or anything like that. It's strictly using just the power for the fan to be running, sucking the air in, pushing it out the back of the case. And you can feel a pretty good airflow actually. And uh, we'll do some temps later on. I do want to show you that other little side of the motherboard though. Okay, so you can see how that color is changing as well. And they're all going to cycle through the different colors until the motherboard software is all installed. Okay, so this case is an ATX case. And one thing I just got thinking about is will the CPU cooler I put on actually fit in this case? So I'm going to put it in, find out. So basically all I'm going to do is line it up. The IO shield is part of the motherboard. It's the way they're making a lot of them nowadays. So I'm going to line it up with here. I'm actually going to put it on and hopefully we'll have enough clearance after that that uh, everything will be okay. So stay tuned and cross your fingers for me. So something I want to point out. First, it does fit. Just enough clearance in the case. So something to test it a little bit better is let's run the uh, ADA64 Extreme and see what happens when we stress everything a little bit. I'm starting it up. We're going to let it run for a bit. You can see it's gone up to 100% utilization here. Uh, we're setting, it's getting up to 75. Um, we'll see if it stays there. Well, okay, we're just going to have to wait and see. So, I haven't run the diagnostics on this before, so I don't know what to expect in temperature. So, I did hit up about 81. It's dropped back down to 77. So, we'll see where it settles. And, uh, We'll come back after about five minutes is run and we'll see where we're at. 
Okay, so we're a little bit past the five minute mark. Uh, we, we did dip down. We hit up 81 and it's staying anywhere from 74 to 77. And that's where our idle temps are setting between 34 and 41. And uh, it seems to be staying right about that area. So you're not going to get that high in games. So absolutely nothing to worry about. So this cooler is doing its job. And uh, not too much heat coming from the uh, CPU, which is nice to know. So one last thing I wanted to do, of course, is to run the uh, test with Cinebench for the CPU and just see what this thing can do. I've heard a lot of uh, talk about the Ryzen uh, 3900X. Uh, so let's see if, just how quick it is. That's It's pretty impressive, actually. Wow. Wow, that was crazy. I didn't even know how long that was. That was the quickest I think I've ever done. I mean, this is a 12 core, 24 thread CPU. So you would expect, you would expect that. So anyway, 2933 is what we got. All right, everybody. So that is the install of the CPU cooler. Uh, quick look at the installation for the uh, Hyper 212. And basically a little bit of a look at the temperatures and everything. So very impressive CPU. Um, it's the quickest I've ever seen a Cinebench ever run uh, on any CPU I've ever tested. So I can't even imagine what the 5000 series that's coming out, what that's going to be like. Um, we're getting to the point where I, I don't even know, like, can games even use the processing power that we're putting into our machines? I guess we'll find out as they keep improving them. So anyway, hope you liked the video. If you don't, you know what to do. If you do, give me that big thumbs up. Hit that bell for future notifications so you can see the videos as they come up. And let me know what you think. Put a comment down. Be constructive. Be nice. Don't be a troll. Thanks for watching.